everybody. My name is Caitlin. Um, on September 13, 1994, a federal law was created under Title IX of the Federal Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act of 1994, commonly known as the Assault Weapons Ban. The act banned the manufacture, transfer, and possession of certain semi-automatic firearms designated as assault weapons and large capacity ammunition magazines. Congress let the assault weapons ban expire in 2004 in accordance with in accordance with its 10-year sunset provision. Mass murder has become a cultural norm in the United States. Over the last 30 years, we have grown accustomed to the regular and almost daily reports of gruesome incidents where casualties reach the double digits. In the worst and most horrific tragedies, the, motiv the motives may vary widely, however, the weapon of choice largely, largely does not. In Las Vegas, a man targeted a concert full of 22,000 people without a clear reason, murdering 58. In San Bernardino, 14 people were killed at the hands of American terrorists. In Orlando, a gunman killed 49 people out of hate towards the LGBT community. There is only one common thread tying together all these tragedies, and it's not terror or even hate. It's assault weapons. My partner and myself will be discussing why the U.S. should restore the assault weapons ban of 1994 for a wide array of reasons, including but not limited to, one, the assault weapons ban worked in reducing the number of mass shootings. Two, the ban did not infringe on the Second Amendment rights of any citizen. And three, the public supports stricter laws on assault weapons. Our first claim states an assault weapons ban worked in reducing the number of mass shootings. According to a 2014 Citizens Crime Commission report, they found that the assault weapons ban worked. During the decade of the ban, there were half as many casualties in mass shootings as the decade before, and a third as many casualties in mass shootings as the decade after. According to Professor John Torres, who is a political science professor at um, a college, we had about 46 mass shootings per year from 2005 to 2015, or 4.1 mass shootings per year. That's more than 2.6 times as many mass shootings as there were when the U.S. had the assault weapons ban. Our second claim states that the assault weapons ban did not infringe on the Second Amendment rights of any U.S. citizen. A ban on assault rifles is not in any way, shape, or form an attack on the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment states, A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. Nowhere in the amendment does it grant citizens the, ri the right to carry AK-47s around in order to protect themselves when there are other perfectly capable weapons available that can be used for protection. In, in June, on June 26, 2008, District of Columbia Justice Antonio Scalia wrote, like most rights, the, Second Amendment, the, the right secured by the Second Amendment is not unlimited. Nothing in our opinion should be taken to cast doubt on long-standing prohibitions on the possession of firearms by felons and the mentally ill. Former Justin, Justice John Paul wrote, the framer's single-minded focus in crafting the constitutional guarantee to keep and bear arms was on military use of firearms, which they viewed in the context of service and state militias, hence the inclusion of the phrase well-regulated militia. Um, our third claim states that the majority of the public supports stricter laws and the restrictions on assault weapons ban. According to a poll taken by the National Public Radio, there is an increasing number of Americans, both Republican and Democrats, who want more gun regulation, especially after the Parkland school shooting. On February 2018, when asked if gun laws should be more strict, 92% of Democrats said they should be, and 59% of Repu Republicans said they should be as well. When I calculated it, that means that 75% of Americans believe that gun laws should be stricter than they currently are today. Stricter gun regulations and common sense regulation on assault weapons would make us all safer and, and would prevent dangerous people from getting guns that can cause mass destruction. 